Hi, Tech Rabbit here. Now we really got something interesting. Um, gonna do a video series about um, Sony VR, like unboxing all the equipment and setting it up. And then I don't know how one can show how it's being used. We'll take that when it comes. So anyway, the first thing to look at is the actual brains of the operation. And that's a PlayStation 4 Pro. Uh, just have to see how to get this. Oh, oh, it's such a big box. It won't really fit into the camera. Camera view the way I have it set up. So. I think I'll pause the recording and come back to it when I get it out of the box. Okay, this is a train setup packaging. Let's used to be open it from here. Ah, oh, they could have made this a bit easier. Why does it have to open it from both ends? Looks quite a bit more advanced than the one that I had with PlayStation 3. It's now defunct. Empty one side of the box. No, I think one can actually hold the main unit. Somebody could have designed this box better. But anyway, now you end up with this being empty. So, oh. <laughs> there, it's collapsed. More junk to get rid of. 
Oh, but this is nice that they're actually using uh, paper instead of foam. So, get rid of that. Did not see that there was a stand with it. Stand it off, right? So maybe that's an option. Oops. No. Ah, I went the wrong way around. It's supposed to be. So that's the back side. Oh, let's connect. Actually, since it's shadowed, I'll move this way. There are all the connectors. the side full prop and then that's the side prop and it's a bit heavy to move around okay so now we have it that far okay so um yeah that's just an unboxing of that and now what i'll do is i'll um uh, take a magical pause here to um, get it connected up this one thing I won't do an unboxing of but since it actually just a reminder as it comes only with one control then uh, I bought another one exactly the same this will be I mean who doesn't need two controllers so anyway okay back as soon as I've connected it up okay oh. let's see okay. there ah oh, explode is sometimes a bit weird anyway got it wired up um haven't connected power yet unless we um You'll see the top bus connectors and Ethernet cable. I'm running it on. We'll be running it on wireless later, but right now we just networked it in. And then it has the um, USB output charging the first controller. And then there's an HDMI cable that I've routed into the 4K capture card I have. So if you want to see something more about that, you can watch my um, going 4K on budget video and then the last connector here is for the power so this is the setup that i'm going to run with initially so well, let's see if it actually will start first time i try it so i don't know what will happen it could be that the 4k capture card won't work it's intended but yeah we'll see so here goes let's plug in the power <coughs> See if we can actually find it. No idea why they would have made it so small. Okay. Now that was weird.
No, it's there. My God, is that small. You wouldn't believe what small text that has on. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we get a picture. Oh, sorry for the light. <laughs> Still the same, no signal. Expected that we would have got a picture right away. Now, if I have to do diagnostics on this, then I will just use video magic and terminate it until I actually found out why the picture is not coming up. Some diagnostics. Be back when done. Okay, now we got a picture. And this is the HDMI cable directly to the monitor. So I actually read up on this and this is um, uh, HDCP, high definition content protection. It's preventing the capture card to work. So we actually have to configure it now on uh, manually. Or yeah, using a direct cable to the motor. So, anyway, let's see if we, we got the dual shock. So, let's hear it. Press the PS button. There. And as we say, English I think is fine for me. Wait, I just have to remember. Ah, oh, this is not going to be easy to film. I don't have a stand for this. Shaking as well as. Ow, hand hurts. So, anyway, that was X. Is that? Let me take that one. And then we just need to. Okay, so now we're going to set up some basic stuff. So it should just okay. That was the camera. Don't have one. oh no, the space. Okay, time zone. Oops. There we go. That one. I think that's. Defaults. 
It really sucks. <laughs> I haven't got any other camera solution. No. I can have a choice not to accept. So I'll be back when the update's done. Okay, now we're back. PDF spot again. So she's going to just use her one. Oh wait, just the wrong button. I think I just want to get that content protection thing first fixed. Get it out. Don't have to stop. I want to get her away from using that. Uh, oh, come on. What is this? Okay, that's the PlayStation Network. Oh, I need to get to the settings. Content protection. Whoa, what happened? Okay, so seem to do much. Okay. okay, let's hope we'll see each other on the um, encoder card instead. So that's HTC be gone, and now we have. The PlayStation 4 on the capture card that will make things a bit easier instead of using the shaky um, mobile phone, which of course the only fault is that I don't have a currently don't have a stand, a st uh, mobile stand big enough for my mobile phone. I have that in the plans to purchase. Okay, so we can now uh, say that the um, System up, the uh, PlayStation 4 is up and running, system updates have been applied. I will actually, since I had a PlayStation 3, I'm going to try and connect to the PlayStation Network. Those that didn't have it, recommend creating an account. And um, then we'll move on with the next, next part of the um, process.
so there's nothing else I was going to say. Just have to check. Sorry, just looking at my notes, I don't quite get anything. <sighs> it for this video, even if it was a bit complicated. Um, anyway, if you like this video, consider subscribing, um, hit the bell icon because there's going to be more content coming on the same theme, and um, I'll see you on the next one.